Whenever you multitask or switch task on a human being, you're communicating to them that they're less important than anything else you could be doing at that time. Now, I'm going to finish with a story here. I am a huge NFL fan. And one day we were watching the Super Bowl. I was really into the game. We had guests over. I was so excited watching it. We had the chips and the dip and all that stuff. And I'm just really into it. I look down and I see this. That's my son when he was two. And he said, Daddy, read story? In the middle of the Super Bowl. Are you kidding me? Now, what would you do in this situation? I had four options Pass through my mind. Number one, DVR, not an option. We had friends in the room. Number two, go away, kid. Don't bother me. I'm watching the Super Bowl. Number three, I multitask, right? Good parenting. Put them on my lap. I read the story and uh, fishing and touchdown. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. But I know that there are four effects of multitasking. Number one, the amount of time it takes to complete things increases. The quality of the experience decreases. My stress levels increase and relationships decrease. So I went with the fourth option, which is sit him on my lap and read him the story. How long it took me? About three minutes. Now, I don't know what I missed during that time, whether it was a, a sack or a fumble or an interception or a funny beer commercial. But what I do know and what, the, what my son knew was that I had nothing better to do than focus on him for those three minutes. And when I was done, he said, thank you, Daddy, and went and did whatever two-year-olds do. These are the opportunities that you have every single day and that you will have the moment this presentation is over to give people 100% of your attention and to communicate to them that there's nothing more important than they they are. And that becomes a powerful differentiator in an ADHD world. Thank you for listening.